all-wheel drive golf art. Stop doing that game! Why does the AI try to bully me through that corner? Actually, that's a good point, whoever said that. Spring Forza-thon, what can I get from this? So I can get... Oh, shit, I can get the Civic Type R? Maybe we should go after the Civic Type R, the Forza-thon, or Forza Edition, Illumicraft. Wait, so what's the... Wait, hold on. What's the Civic Type R that's in the... In the festival? Where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. It's the... I don't like that one. That one's... Yeah. The new one is actually pretty cool looking, I will say. And that's coming from me. Forza-thon starts in, like, literally a minute, so... I mean, let's go over here. Jack Saint is the fastest front-wheel drive car around the Nurburgring. That's what I'm saying. It's a good car, too. All right, I need a good, good car. I got an idea. Yep. When in doubt, Lambo with 1,800 horsepower. You can never go wrong. Forza on Live will begin shortly. What good, good timing. Three, yes. two, one, go. Round one, start it. Get to the speed zone. Perfect. Or on our, wait, really? Is this the, I've spun out. Wait, is this the speed zone right here? No way. What a nice, what a nice spot to put it in. <laughs> that works out well. Oh yeah, I don't actually know if by doing the Forza-thon live right now that we're gonna have enough money to buy the Civic. But I mean, I'm gonna try. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, the Lambo doesn't turn in the wet. Okay, let's get back on the road. We're fine. Got round one oh. complete. Get to round two. Well, that was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. Are you serious? We're at another drift zone that is literally here. Okay, I don't know why, but my car has no grip right now. Like, I get it that it's wet. Maybe it has something to do with it being wet and the temperature. Because right now, I cannot drive properly at all. Oh my god. What are we doing? What are we doing? This Lambo is dumb. You know how I was saying the Lambo is like the best car in the game and can do everything? Yeah, maybe, maybe not this. I, I probably should switch to a drift car because this Lambo is actually garbage at this. Okay. <laughs> you see what I mean? The Lambo's built for doing one thing and one thing only, and this is not that one thing. And we're almost done. Round we're almost two. done. Yes. Wait. Good job, boys. Get to round three. Thank you. Speed trap. That I can do. Easy. All right, Lambo. This is what you're built for. There is no excuse for you to not be good at this. He's gonna keep going through this back and forth as many times as possible. We get the solid. Okay. Sick landing in the Lambo. We're apparently playing skate four. And good. This it's such a beast. When the Lambo actually works, it is incredible. We're nearly there. Round three hey, thank you. All right, thirty Forza-thon points are mine. Thank you all for helping. Off to Forza-thon and the Forza-thon shop. And Civic Type R, then yep, we've got the Civic Type R off to the festival and see what we can go and do. I really hope that there are some upgrades that we can do to this, but I'm genuinely not sure. Crossing fingers. I know there's not going to be like a wide body kit. Like, yeah, there's no wide body kit, but I'm hoping. Please give me something in here. No, no, nobody wants to put the, I don't know anybody who puts this on their car because they think it looks nice. Nobody does that. Rear wing? Really? Really? Because the rear wing on a Civic Type R was not ugly enough. You had to give me that one. I don't actually know what engine this thing has in it, but it's a 300 horsepower. That's not bad. We can swap in... Ah, uh, Turbo 4 rep. No, no one wants that. I'm going to stick with the stock engine. We'll actually keep this front wheel drive. I don't know if I've used a front wheel drive in this game just... Or a front wheel drive car in this game just yet. Anyways, that's fine. There are no nice body mods for it. We've actually already got some pretty cool rims. Um, do we want to put race tires on it, though? Yeah, might as well. Usually, I'd go and upgrade the rears, but because it's front-wheel drive, I'm going to do the opposite. Just upgrade the front. Bring those tires out. Hell yes. I find every car that you can bring the tires out on just looks so much better. Like, look how far into the body they're in. And even if you bring them out, they're, like, they're not sticking out. Like, you could probably even go a tiny bit more, but... That's pretty good. And then usual sorts of upgrades. I don't know what sort of horsepower I want to get this thing to, though. A-Class wouldn't be a bad point for this. So maybe let's just upgrade the exhaust and get a little bit more horsepower. And then other than that, 312 horsepower. It's not crazy fast. It weighs 3,000 pounds. But it is front-wheel drive on some very, very grippy tires. I think this should be interesting. I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, like I was saying, I'm a little worried about the, the front-wheel drive aspect of it. But... 
I think that might make it a, a little interesting, honestly. So, um, what do we gotta go and do? I know we have some more midnight races up in Edinburgh. We've got one right here. Check the engine sound. So, I don't actually know what a Civic Type R sounds like, so you guys will sort of have to be the judge of that, but I'm, I'm just gonna try to win the race with my silly front-wheel drive car that I think I might have... Never mind, I didn't miss a checkpoint yet, so okay. Okay, can you... Stop crashing into me! Take a listen to the Civic Type R. I don't know if it's accurate or not, but you guys let me know, okay? I mean, it's not a bad sounding car per se. I mean, I'm actually not doing too badly with the front wheel drive. I was expecting to have some major problems, but... I'm actually not getting that much understeer, which is which is pretty nice, honestly. Like, I'm able to swing it through a lot of the corners. Twitch chat has been extremely useless and hasn't told me if this is accurate sound at all. Thanks, guys. Jim Pen is like, it's fairly accurate. It sounds like it. Okay. It's close, but it's more raspy than it is in real life. Got you. I feel like Forza does that with a lot of car sounds, though. I feel like a lot of car sounds in this game are way more raspy than they are in real life. Oh my god! No! No! I didn't even realize we were at the end! What the hell? That's not what I wanted! Some guy's like, Nick, in the corners you need to turn. Thanks, man! Alright. So after that disappointment, uh, let's try to redeem ourselves with one over here. This one's actually a good one. I like- I like this area. I've said for a while, this area of the map, all the way at the top of the uh, at the top of the map, is probably my favorite place to drive around in. It just looks kind of crazy. Attempt number two in the Civic Type R. Don't know why we're racing a Bentley, but it, yeah, it turns out a Bentley's faster than the Civic. <laughs> Damn it! What? The AI brings out hella quick cars, and if they have all-wheel drive, they're just gone off the line. Oh, I'm actually catching up to some people. I'm catching up to a hairdresser. Shit, didn't realize that corner was so tight. Coming through. Sorry. I mean, I'm in eighth place. I'm not doing that badly. There's a Bentley in the way. I am so lucky I saw his name or I would never have been able to react in time. That was terrified. Oh my god. Okay, this is a proper hill climb. I didn't actually realize that. Why are there so many Focus RSs? What the hell is going on? All right. The... the no. Oh, traffic everywhere. Oh, more traffic. Boys, this is not good. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this race, but I'm having a real tough time. You know what? I'm gonna blame the Civic. Maybe it turns out the Honda Civic might be very cool to look at. Not a very quick car. I mean, it is pretty quick, but apparently when you're racing a bunch of Focus RSs, nah. Like... It's just not that fast. Everyone's like, operator error, blame the driver, not the car. That is not how you do racing driver excuses. It's always the car's fault. You know you're a professional racing driver when you say, it's the car's fault, the car's awful. I, I, I would imagine if I converted it to all-wheel drive, I'm sure it would do a little bit better. Just because, I mean, that's what Horizon sort of wants you to do. But, damn it! You know what I want to go and do? This guy. Because the winter's finally gone. We gotta go test out the drifting. Next chapter. What do we have to do? Chapter 6. 425,000 points. Just please give me a good car. When I say a good car, I mean something that is tuned well and has a lot of horsepower. I was also about to Every say rear-wheel drive, but I fit, didn't think that would actually a be a factor. Scale. Yeah. Here we I, go. A nice technical drive on mixed road surfaces. I do love the technical ones. I, I didn't think I would need to stipulate that I wanted something rear-wheel drive. But apparently, I should've. Because the one time I don't, is the one time I get an all-wheel drive car. That's very annoying. God damn. It's all just straights, too. That's the problem with all of these drift races. You can't drift properly. I suspect that machine is capable of more. And so are you. Shut up, Robert! Nobody likes you! Nobody has ever gone, oh, I'm really interested to hear what Robert has to say about what I'm doing right now. You know how sick the driver would be from doing this? Just going left or damn it. All right, what did, what did we need to get? I think we needed like 425k, I think. If we just keep sort of milking the point. Okay, I've spun. If I just keep milking the points, we will be fine. We've got a mile and a half left to go. You know what? 
We don't need a mile and a half. I'm just gonna go this way. I can do it. I just need to get 3,000 points before we cross the line. And done! <laughs> what a brilliant corner cut! That worked so well! And that cut the line! I'm so good at this game! The drift missions in this game, easy peasy lemon squeezy, man. So good. All right, let's do another one because that went so goddamn well. So easy, even drifting an all-wheel drive car, 300,000 points on this one. We're fine. This is the Volvo 242 Turbo Evolution featuring a few little adjustments of my own. I think you'll find it more than adequate. As much as I love the Volvo 242, let's, let's be honest, stock, it's not the best car. So I really hope you did a couple of upgrades. How do you make a Ford accelerate zero to 60 miles per hour in less than 15 seconds? Push it off a cliff. I'm just saying, uh, why are we off-roading our Volvo? That's my question. It's actually gear ratios. All right, well, we're just back to milking the points again. We've actually got drift suspension on this car. I can tell we've got more steering angle than we usually would. Look at us go. Why are we going off-road again? You want me to get 300,000 points and you give me some silly dirt path to drive up in a great Volvo? First of all, a room of Volvo. Secondly, why the hell am I doing this? Cooking the engine also helps. Yep, I have been redlining basically the entire time. Do not pay attention to that. It is just a consequence of whatever you call this drive. I'm gonna get 300,000 points though, so I mean, that's good. Hey, fine. Oh, never mind, I lied. I thought we were going back onto the road. Why am I going down a silly path? And the cut the line. See, this is just uh -huh. my point. People think drifting is simply losing control of the vehicle, when in fact, you are delicately balancing traction loss with grip. The guy just talks so much, it's ridiculous. I, I don't want to drive my Civic around anymore. It's it's not fast enough. I built a bad car. This These long is what I'm talking about now. Proper American muscle drift car. This should be good. I have no problem with this. Providing we stay on the road. I mean, it is raining like crazy, which isn't great, but... Eh, we'll be fine. I, I honestly wish, though, that you could use, like, a drift car that you made yourself. You know, it all began I don't know. with Kunimitsu Takahashi. He invented drifting because he was winning all of his races and he wanted a bit of a challenge. Back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I wish you could use your own cars for these types of races because, like, everyone has their own sort of style of drift car that they want to build and... This is- STOP INTERRUPTING ME, YOU STUPID ROBERT! The, uh, THE MOST ANNOYING PERSON EVER! And... Where's the finish line? Here it is! Well, and the cut the, the line! The well, the spirit of the robber, Glenn, is more than happy endlessly fiddling with his engine and suspension. Thank you very much. Thank you, Robert. Please never talk to me again. I just got my R12 hoodie early. Hey. It just came in the mail. I also got a detailed plan sticker and an R12 gaming sticker. Can we please redeem ourselves in this silly car? All right, we'll do my favorite race course, one of my favorite race courses, Civic. I understand that we're on the hardest difficulty, I think, in the game. Nope, never mind, we're not. I just want to do well, okay? Please, 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 don't come last. Well, I've actually just noticed these two, like, horns is the only way I know how to describe it on the back on either side of like just sticking up off the back. They look like horns. What the? How have I only noticed that now? Okay, what is everybody doing? Guys, this is not good in the whole, yeah, let's make the Civic great again strategy that I was going for. I get it, it's fastest front wheel drive car. I'm not racing against any other front wheel drive cars. We get some all wheel drive focuses, some all wheel drive golf art. Stop doing that game. Why does the AI try to bully me through that corner? Stop! Flying, 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 hard on the brakes, chuck it in. Yeah, Civic. See, now that we don't get crashed into by the AI, we're so much better! Yeah, the AI's being ruthless AF! They're just, they're just crashing into me at every point! I gotta just swing the inside line, because if I don't, they just ram me. Like, look, get on the inside, 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 inside. This way they won't ram me like crazy. I'm up to six. That's not bad. Middle of the pack. Little trail break. Come on. Yes. Yes. This is brilliant. Look at this. We're redeeming the Civic. The Civic's actually a really good car. Oh my god. A Halloween Focus RS. No. No. I want second. 
that's how you do that. Haha! -ha. Somebody says, why the hell are you driving the ugliest Civic ever made? It's super cool! Look at that lap time though, that's, that's what I call a lap time. Yeah, everybody else was all-wheel drive. I was the only front-wheel drive person. You should put an engine failure sticker on your forehead because it smells like popcorn when you start to think. If, uh, if you want a sticker, there's a link down below. Let's just jump a thousand feet they want me to jump. How the hell do you want me to jump a thousand feet in a Civic Type R? I mean, I get it. It wasn't made for the Civic Type R, but still... That's a monster jump. This is gonna be stupid. This has to be like a sheer drop on the other side. And... How? 300 feet, what a joke! Is that even one star? There's no way that's even one. Oh. Well, on that note, um... Thanks for watching.